Hi everybody, how are you doing? Just wanted to give you an update on a couple of things. So you remember yesterday I put out a video on C7. And uh, so C7 passed, unfortunately. Uh, most conservatives, I believe almost every conservative and most NDP voted against it. So that's good on them. And I just wanted to read you my official statement. I posted it earlier uh, on my Facebook, but I just wanted you to uh, hear it from me. So I printed it off, it's right here in front of me. Remember, C7 is the bill that was expanding uh, euthanasia. So euthanasia has been legal now for a couple of years. A low-level court in Quebec said that the uh, euthanasia provisions were not broad enough. And instead of appealing that, so typically a government would appeal. a If their own law gets struck down, you typically ap appeal it. Hi, Bill. Hi, Denny. Good to see you. So the Liberals uh, went out of their way to not appeal this. The deadline to appeal passed. And so they were in the position to have to bring back uh, a more expansive legislation. So this bill would allow, um, for one, you don't have to be at the end of life. You could just have a grievous or irremediable condition. And also mental illness will be one of the reasons that will be uh, you can use to have euthanasia. So, I mean, that's that's troubling, right? I mean, right now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, you know, probably 90% of Canadians have been depressed at one point or another uh, during this pandemic. And now we're saying, you know, okay, we're going to shut down economy, shut down business, you know, take your guns away. And if you feel really depressed, well, don't worry, we have a we have a way out for you. I mean, this is just, this is wrong. This is this is uh, 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 inappropriate. And I'm very concerned. So I'm just going to read you my statement. It's right in front of me here. I am deeply saddened by the passage of the Liberal Bill C-7. This bill has added mental illness as a reason for choosing assisted suicide. It can no longer be called medical assistance in dying when people choosing this option are not dying nor near death. We must call this assisted suicide. In the midst of a pandemic with heightened mental illness, addictions, and suicides, this is tremendously irresponsible. I have no doubt the passage of C7 will lead to many people with disabilities and mental illness choosing to die rather than to live. I ask how we can have any meaningful suicide prevention if we're simultaneously offering that person the option to die. I am deeply saddened by this unnecessary and callous treatment of human lives. During the debate on C7, an extreme version of autonomy was raised many times as if the Liberal Party was the Libertarian Party instead of the controlling big government party that it is. But this focus is hypocritical because there is no concern for personal autonomy in many other areas of life. For example, draconian lockdowns destroying small business or forced quarantining in federal quarantine centers, preventing Canadians from owning 1,500 different types of guns, implementing carbon taxes, fuel standards, and other schemes are deliberately intended to influence and change Canadians' behavior and attitudes. There is no question this government is in favor of socially engineering Canadian society. So why aim to socially engineer those most vulnerable to choose to die? I am troubled beyond words. So that's my thoughts on that. And it is very, uh, it's very troubling to see what the Liberals are doing. And uh, it's, it's really, I mean, you know, I, I heard... MP after MP, Liberal MP after Liberal MP get up and talk about autonomy. And they clearly don't care about autonomy for the rest of us who wish to live. They only care about autonomy for the most vulnerable that wish to die. And that's a problem. So thank you for listening to my statement here. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. I just wanted to mention um, on another note that I've put a petition on my website to stop the vaccine passport. If you have not signed that, please go to my website, www.derricksloan.ca and sign that petition if you are against the government mandating a vaccine to be able to travel, to be able to go to you know the movies, to be able to go to uh, a concert. If you are against that, please do go to my website and sign it. And you know, I just, I wanted to mention, um, you know, with respect to uh, mental illness and so on, I know personally s several families with, uh, you know, teenagers, and the teenagers seem to be doing uh, very poorly in this shutdown. And I know a couple of young, young men, 18, 19 years old, 
who, you know, otherwise are, are, have had no issue with mental illness and they're suffering big time during these lockdowns. So now to say, now to be fair, this, uh, you know, mental illness as a reason to use assisted suicide, they're waiting two years before they implement that, but it's a done deal now and it will happen. And I think it's very frightening. I mean, we have great suicide prevention in this country. And imagine, you know, someone's up there on the bridge ready to jump. And on one hand, you're like, hey, you know, please, please come down. You know, unless you really don't want to, then we can help you jump. I mean, what kind of message is that? I mean, this is just, this, this uh, you know, this completely undercuts uh, suicide prevention. And when it comes to psychologists, psychiatrists, they say, listen, there's no such thing as an untreatable mental illness. There is treatment-resistant depression. There are people who have struggles for all their life. But they do not categorically say that there is uh, mental illness that is beyond hope. There's always hope, and I'm disgusted that this situation happened. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching this short update today. I hope you have a great weekend. Looking forward to talking to you all again soon. And can't wait to get out, out on the road here when the weather uh, gets a little bit better and see as many people as I can in person. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless Canada.